Okay, look. Not only do these people want to be God, these people want to beat God. That, it, 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 it's, it's just occurred to me. That's a huge part of what this is all about. They... I always say they, and then people will say, who's they? Well, <laughs> the, the, the World Economic Forum is a hand of them. It's, it's the hand. It is the hand. If you ever saw the series back several years ago, I can't remember the name of it because I'm wanting to talk about it. But there was the hand. <laughs> and that's who this is. It's, it's, you know, David Rockefeller is gone now. But, man, I mean, look at everything he was about. What he wrote about. What he said he wanted to do. It's the Rockefellers. It's the Rothschilds. It's the, um, Van Heesens. You know, they're not all American names. It's, uh, here's you, here's you one. Here's you a name. Let's name them by their names. Henry Kissinger. <laughs> Look up that devil. Look him up. Look what he did when World War II was going on. Look at George Soros. Look what he did as a child during World War II. Look him up. You gotta understand who this is before you can understand who not to be and who to be. Our whole lives has been a lie. My whole, I was born in January 1972. My whole entire life has been one big lie. And I can't blame my parents or anybody like that. Because knowledge is power. And when the game is so thick and so powerful as it was back in the day. And, you know, there wasn't internet. There wasn't, you couldn't, you know, just Google something and find out who was who. You couldn't do that. I mean, I grew up in a kind of church that they didn't even have songbooks. Like, not everybody knew how to read. Catholicism was a huge part of that. You know, those bishops and priests and everybody, they didn't want everybody to know how to read. Because they knew knowledge is power. And knowledge is still power. But, I will have to say, you know, it does say in, in the days there will be an numerous amount of knowledge. You'll be able to learn anything, any kind of subject whatsoever you can think of, if you know where to look on the internet, what to put in, the right search terms, there's nothing you can't find out. There's nothing new under the sun. There's a lot of truth to that statement. And so, all these, all these, they... They, they want control. They don't give a crap about your 35000 a year. What's that matter to them? You know, some of them make 35000 a second, probably. They want control. They want power. The ones they can't control, they want gone. Because they want a slave state. They want a slave world. What they're pushing, their doctrine is for a global governance, a global world order. But it doesn't have anything whatsoever to do with you or I having an individual right. And that's why I'm going to revisit it. That's the whole thing about the whole trans. That's why they're pushing this they're trying to normalize anything that will 
go against normal civilization, which is a man and a woman procreating to create their next child, their next generation. Trans is upsetting that. Big time. That's what they're trying, they're trying to create. Like this whole generation, I've talked about it before. You know, anybody who's in school right now, anybody who's being born, if you're going to put them in public school, you're doing them such a disservice. You're, you, you are never, you're making it harder and harder and harder for a child to become a critical thinker. I'm, I'm now becoming a critical thinker, even though I've known... I knew a lot of stuff. I, I, I found out a whole lot of stuff whether I even wanted to or not in 1994. Uh, something major was dropped in my lap. I don't know any other way to put it. And so that made me uh, A, want to learn more. B, want to protect myself and my loved ones. And C, if there is a C, at that time, rebuke authority so this whole trans thing it's, it's 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 another tool you know it's a tool that they're using and they're I mean and they're it's a damn fine tool right now it's like that you know that miracle tool that they advertise once every decade you know like that miracle um Oh, what's it? The socket, you know, that'll fit any fitting and all that. That that's what this one is right now. This whole trans thing, because they're they're really doing a number on it. They are destroying the human race, and that's because they don't want us to be human. They look. They do look for a post-human existence. That's what they're looking for. A post-human existence. They'll keep themselves alive and as as well as they can for as long as possible. But they also know that they have their own crop of world leaders who they have been finely tuning to go on and live on and run the rest of it. But ultimately, they feel like if they can do away with humanity or at least tightly tightly control humanity then um, they can beat God because they believe in him whether you do or not so um, gotta get in here much love I'll expound if you want me to please please subscribe please hit the bell